Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your radiator on this Persia Partner van. Right, so first thing is make sure you take the front bumper off before removing the radiator. Now I'm going to show you how you do that. They are T20 torques to remove them. So as you can see that's our radiator down there that we're going to be replacing first what we're going to do is we're going to remove all these screws so what we're going to do is use a water pump pliers or any sort of um, pliers that can remove these hose pipes this tool it just so it can drain off as you can see Okay, yeah. now we're underneath, as you can see the front bumper, what we're going to do is we're going to remove that, and that, and that, and that. So literally what we're going to do now is going to remove the wheel arch and take the bumper off completely. You can see there's a little um, plastic clip. Just literally need to just pop that out. There's also another one down here underneath the bumper. Let's take that out as well. There's this one. Just drop that on. Which is just pull it out. We're just gonna go ahead and remove the other ones as well. I'm gonna take the old wheel arch. Cover it up completely. As you can see, they're all off now. Literally just gonna take this one out. Pull that out. This one as well. Like so. And voila. Now I've got more access. And the same to this side as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of those. As you can see, taking this one out now as well. So we're going to go remove those two turn mills, as you can see, right there. That's holding the old bit of the bumper together, which is that bit there. And those two turn mills down there as well. This bit just on the clips. If it doesn't, you literally just loosen those turn mills there as well. So as you can see, the bumper's not off. We need to get to that little screw there. As you can see, there's a screw there. And there's one there. And basically it's to get this little tab here up from the radiator and that one there then we're able to pull the radiator out that way and pull it upwards but we've got to disconnect this walk pipe as well and also this pipe literally just push these in as you can see like that and just gently wiggle it until it comes up gonna do this both hands just make sure i don't break that and take that off so as you can see that pipe's now off including that one so it's a t30 star torque to remove those two just 
gonna go ahead and do that now. So now, as you can see, the tabs are holding it. As you can see, they're going straight up. You can just pull the radiator out. You can see that's where the screw screws into and holds it in place. And both of them. So it's going to go ahead and pull that out. Literally just hooks up down there. As you can see. You can see that radiator is leaking really bad. You can see down there with the damp patches. So as you can see, we've got the new one for it now. As you can see, this is the brand new radiator. Fitting that one in there. say make sure you line up the holes down at the bottom that the radiator slots into as you can see and don't forget to take the old bits off the radiator to put back onto this side and that side as you can see they're all tight now I'll show you quickly you can see right there is not moving it's not going anywhere i just got to connect up all these pipes and clamps this little one here be very careful when you're putting this one on There we go. It's all in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one back on. Gonna get a new hose clip for that. As you can see, got a new clip on there, Jubilee clip. As you can see, I've fit a new Jubilee clip to that one as well. This is what I was talking about. You gotta make sure they're slotted in at the bottom. As you can see, you need to bleed the system as well, so you need to take the bleed nipple off there. As you can see, there's bubbles coming over here at the moment. There's also another one down there that you have to take off. Wait until they start throwing out water without bubbles, and then just put them back on, and that should solve the bleeding system. As you can see, look, it's starting to flow down. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed. Keep on rolling.